Hey, what's up guys? It's Really Engineer here and it's definitely been a while since I've posted anything on my YouTube channel. And the big reason for that, well, it's COVID, you know. I'm a third year, I'm a third year student uh, studying in Taiwan. I'm studying engineering. I'm a double major also. I major in mechanical and electrical engineering. And with the whole COVID thing, definitely my financial, my financial uh, status has been impacted. So I'm pretty much forced to go out and make money by whatever means. So this led me to, to pick up part-time teaching. I teach kids English as a second language. And I also do photography and videography on the side to make ends meet. And I've been doing pretty good so far. So being a full-time student, a double major, and having to teach part-time, doing video and photography part-time, I really don't have any time to make content for my YouTube channel. So I want to spend this time to talk about what has been going on over the past couple weeks. So being a full-time student, uh, it, as being a full-time engineering student, I am pretty much uh, busy with class all day. I have class in the morning, in the afternoon, and at night. Each class is about three hours each, so at most I'd be spending about nine hours a day at school. Sometimes after class I go and teach. Uh, on Mondays I go after class and teach uh, English for two hours and then come home. And on Fridays I'd also teach for another three hours again after class. So all of that, and then I have to do my homework. I also have uh, fo photos to edit, videos to edit, and I need to get these done and submit them to the client in a reasonable amount of time. So as you can imagine, it's pretty hectic. I don't have time really to do anything at all, the extracurricular activities, any, not even for gym. I used to be so in the gym every day, but now I don't have time for that. Usually by the end of the day, I'm so exhausted and I just want to sleep. I don't want to see anything else after that. So it's been pretty hectic so far. Well, a typical day for me would, but would be just to go to class uh, in the morning, uh, in the afternoon, and then go and teach for two hours. And then sometimes I have class at night. And then from there, after that, I would come home, try and work on some projects, edit some photos, edit some videos, or do some homework. Or if I have any tests or quizzes coming up, I try and study for those as well. So yeah, that's it's it's full. By the time I'm finished, like 12 midnight, I go to sleep, and the whole thing repeats again. But that particular weekend here, uh, I had I had a busy busy week. The weekend I had to go to an event in Taipei, which is about five hours away from where I live, and I had to go and shoot for an event there a Halloween party so I had to do photos and videos there so the Friday after I finished teaching I finished at 8 o'clock in the night I had to immediately go to the bus station and to take a bus to Taipei which was a five hour ride I pretty much slept the most of the way I arrived in Taipei at around 2 a.m. from there I just hung out with my friends until the event came around on the Saturday on Saturday night so I went to the event you know I did my thing took some photos, shoot videos, and you know, being a photographer, you get a lot of perks. You get you get in free, you can drink free, and you pretty much can just party with everyone else as long as you get your job done. So also being a photographer, people notice you, you know, people notice you. You know, you have, you have a big camera taking pictures of people. People will notice you. And so I find myself getting approached by a lot of people, you know, they either want to know where I came from or such things like that and oftentimes they ask for my Instagram account, my Facebook account and I give them too because you know that's a way of help promoting my my business so far as a photographer or videographer but some of them hit me up with different intentions if I do say so um, and a lot of times I'm like huh how did you get my Instagram or my Facebook then I'm like oh yeah uh, I remember I gave you so yeah that's that's one thing being a photographer comes with a lot of attention so after that I pretty much got caught up in the moment I ended up partying with everyone else but nonetheless I got some decent pictures I got some decent shots and it, it went pretty good 
So the next day now, I went to shoot this music video. Someone hired me to shoot their music video. I will link that video in the description, a lot as well as some other, some other work that I've been doing over the past couple of weeks. Yes, look look for those in the in the <laughs> description. And yeah, I just barely recovered from the event that night and I had to go out and shoot this music video in Maji Square. It's a place in, in uh, Taipei. It's pretty good actually. I want to go there uh, to just hang out, you know. So I met some really cool people. We shot this music video. That was actually the first music video I ever done. And I didn't get all the shots that I wanted. So what happened was that I ended up using a lot of stock footage to really fill in the gap so that I can cover the entire song. But the main shots I wanted to, the client wanted to tell a story. So we had those shots there where we actually had some, a little bit of acting going on and the rest, the B-roll was actually mostly stock footage. But overall, it came out pretty well. Again, I will link it in the comment section. Well, not in the comment, in the description. So you can check it out and see for yourself. And you can also tell me what you think of it in the comment section. So now after all that busy weekend, you know, um, I had dinner with my friends afterwards and I went back home to Tainan, which is another five hour ride back and I'm not reaching back home all until 2, 3 in the morning and I just get a little bit of rest from there. I, my, first class, my first class starts at 9 Monday morning so the cycle pretty much repeats again. So on weekends I have my gigs that I do and it's back into school the following day. So I have to find time for pretty much everything else in the little free time that I have, you know. So. I mean, it's very necessary now because, you know, pretty much everyone is impacted by COVID one way or another, and I am no exception to it. So this is my way of making money here in Taiwan. So yeah. Anyways, guys, I look forward to posting uh, more content on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. and any other social media platform that I use. I will link them in the description. Please be sure to follow and look forward to more content on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.